All right. Let us let us begin. Uh, so last time we left our heroes, you have started your journey towards the uh, suspected place, marked place of Rotten Claw tribe. Uh, journeying there to well, kick ass, take names, probably figure out uh, what to do with the ghost captain that you have met once, and he told you that. The ruins of his ship are there, and you have a chance to free him. Uh, along the way, as you began your travel relatively quick, considering you are forced marching and have banner of swiftness, uh, you have stumbled upon a winter cabin of sorts, Hunter's Lodge, Ca having a little bit of this like oriental uh, aesthetics, uh, but uh, not too much. You have uh, faced s against several uh, shadows. Incorporal undead. Uh, with relative ease, you have uh, dispatched all of them. Uh, and as a small recon, apart from, as I mentioned, uh, in terms of like no physical loot, no no worthy physical loot, then uh, that remains. However, as you are, because you did uh, take some time to uh, basically. Uh, scan the area and look for anything of value or interest to you. Uh, clearly that place has the markings, the dried blood indicates that yeah, some very violent uh, event happened there. Perhaps a murder, uh, maybe even cold-blooded one or some sort of a ritual now that you uh, think about it. Even if you do not find any symbols, runes, or anything of sorts. Uh, however, those who want, especially Zixos, uh, you can make me uh, knowledge arcana checks. Or rather, in this case, Zixos definitely is like the leading. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, Alas, such and then, is life. And then others, mm. if they want to throw in their like ideas, expertise, they can roll to uh, eight. Hmm. Kind of looks at the the uh, uh, different uh, uh, splashes of blood, trying to figure out if they were uh, willingly taken or forced. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, with that eight pushing it to fifteen, uh, it takes a little bit longer than it would normally. However, uh, well, this was a violent event. Uh, whoever was used for uh, some sort of uh, ritual or magical procedure. Uh, wasn't a willing participant. Uh, on that part, Cherry can find uh, several signs of uh, struggle, and obviously, like the damage on the winter uh, in on the hunter's cabin is clear enough. Uh, but overall, with those aids uh, for this, for getting to 50, DC 15, uh, essentially uh, combining that with the previous knowledge that you have. Uh, you can suspect or think, figure out that, well, something is was needed to summon uh, these summons, these types of creatures, because, well, they are not your usual summon monster, this is something much more complex and powerful, and while summoning circle in the first place is needed, you still need components, you still need catalyst to facilitate such uh, summoning. And uh, if, especially if you want to get, if you are aiming for a specific uh, type of uh, creature, of the greater summon to be bring, brought forth before you, uh, you need to aim for certain materials, circ certain circumstances. And after a little bit of brainstorming, you have a pretty strong theory that this uh, hunter's uh, cabin. Uh, was used uh, 
basically the event there, the violent uh, ritualistic murder was used there to create maybe not a whole catalyst, but definitely it was one of the places that were used to facilitate uh, creating a catalyst for summoning. Probably that, well, out of the seven creatures that you have seen, it might have been the dragon, but it probably was used for the, that huge fuck off uh, spectre that the gargantuan ghost. The smoke monster. Yeah, fine. You can you can call it smoke monster if you want. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's only the one thing I wanted to additionally uh, mention. And just to confirm, so, then... Oh, go ahead. So if the uh, giant spectre was summoned, can we unsummon it? So far... You do not found indication that it is possible. You do know that killing uh, the master, the one that summoned the creature, would not solve the issue. Uh, because of the this place being dimensional uh, nexus, uh, you might think in a different direction. Although, because if it's if it's possible to summon cat to make catalyst to aim for certain uh, being, then who said you cannot do the similar thing? But for you know the less gels. for good creature. That is a. a Pretty. Hmm. I don't think uh, Cherok, being a hunter, uh, would know much about this uh, summoning creatures. But I guess we do have uh, like warlocks or uh, or summoners inside of the uh, base. Uh, regarding the summoner, there's one of particular uh, power, strength, uh, however he's not present at your base at Point Aquila. Uh, it was mentioned that the uh, Agron, the Master Summoner, is probably present uh, at not Point West. Celsius, so like different base and being uh, occupied by, well, stuff. I don't think you inquired more about, or either you didn't inquire, or, or there are no more details uh, available. Uh, still, if you want the DC for now, because you don't have too much information, uh, so the DC for now would be quite high. But if any one of you wants to, uh, you may attempt to make a knowledge planes, or I think legends would also fall under history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so either planes or legends, or both if you really want to. But again, um, the DC would be slightly knowledge higher. Knowledge legends? There is a separate skill for that? Uh, probably history. Yeah, I thought I thought that the, the legend, legends would fall under history. Oh. Oh, Silvan seems to know a uh, great deal about this. All right, looking at those checks. So, uh, technically speaking, yes, this is natural twenty. But on the other hand, hmm. a skill check. So it's up to DM. <laughs> if I take the rest of your skills as eight. <laughs> Okay, so perhaps as a part of your research, or maybe just out of sheer curiosity or uh, uh, not mistake, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? Uh, Misfortune? Circumstance? By accident, that you perhaps you have stumbled upon this knowledge by accident. Uh, you didn't really uh, look too deeply into it because at the time it's not really 
like your area of expertise, to be honest. Uh, but you do recall, in terms of like planar creatures, the ones that are obviously good. Uh, well, you do know there are like celestials, uh, devas, basically good uh, angels that can be perhaps uh, summoned forth, but through regular means. And while some of them, yes, they are, can, they are strong. You do not get the feeling they will cut the cloth for the types of adversaries you are facing here. Uh, but you we do, need to find the super celestials. But you do recall there's a being that apparently with its legend started as a mortal uh, with some a little bit of celestial blood in him uh, that then went to, well, do a mighty deed to create his legend and ascend to, well, have a chance to ascend to Godhood. The, the stories are not clear if he actually became a deity or if he declined the offer but still gained uh, impressive uh, power. Uh, for now I'm gonna give you that. This is definitely mightily uh, good, like overwhelming good being, uh, lawful and all of that. Uh, bearing the moniker of the Lightbringer. <laughs> the Lightbringer. And if quarter of the things you recall about uh, this creature, which admittedly is not enough, but the gut feeling you get is that uh, this sounded like a being that has enough firepower to uh, easily stand against any of the uh, greater evil summons, even like the smoke monster or the or the dragon. Mm. I'm gonna take it you sh sh share the knowledge with the class, uh, Zil. Yes. I, I know all intel law. I am omnipotent. Oh, you seem to, ro to know much about this. Are you sure you haven't summoned before? I cannot confirm to that crime specifically. Hmm. So, if we were to find a way to uh, uh, use uh, this summoning ritual to summon the Lightbringer to our aid, it would be a great boon to the uh, uh, Wanderers. Specifically, I might as well uh, reveal that information, give that information of, above the board. Uh, I, I, although that particular bit of information is to the player specifically, uh, Lightbringer is perhaps like the most powerful summon between you know, evil, good, or neutral. And his, if you manage to bring him into play, uh, Essentially, he counts summoning the Lightbringer counts as a victory condition for a victory this campaign. Condition. Are there any less powerful uh, good good line creatures we could summon? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna answer for now out of character, and we're gonna perhaps deal with that in character later. Uh, yes, there are, uh, but against the assembled powers of evil, let's call it that way, uh, they will mm, not give you, and they will not be enough to turn the tide. Decisively, I should say. All right. So, yeah, you, at this point in time, you know all possible, well, I mean, I, I say possible, but the general idea is that... <laughs> Wait, I need to like revert and say it uh, differently again. Redcon. Not Redcon. Uh, essentially, 
on one hand, yes, there are victory conditions described by me, but obviously if you find some way or come into some idea or if through the play turns out that, hey, we have like a better solution for this, then uh, sure. But uh, for now, the basic four, I mean, one of them is fake, but the four win conditions, which is all of them that I thought about at the start of the campaign, uh, you know, as a reminder that disruption of the ritual because through killing summoners, which you know is fake because of the place that itself supports the the summoning because it is dimensional nexus. Uh, mind you, obviously, as you mentioned in one of the previous sessions, if you want to like, if you actually, you know, hunt down a master, which probably is also like an evil being, if you have seen those two uh, humanoid ladies uh, way back when. They didn't look particularly good, so you know, hunting them down and killing them is probably also like a good thing. Uh, second thing, uh, disrupting the ritual by you imagine tampering with the source because something so powerful needs to have like an origin point. Uh, third, as you have learned, summoning the Lightbringer to turn the tide, and last one is finding a way. To disable the storm, which uh, will allow the wanderers to call in reinforcements. All right. So we have our plans, have our goals. Let's go uh, continue on. And uh, could you say the victory conditions again? There was a summon the light bringer, remove the storm. What was the two others? Uh, destroy mm. the summoners. Which or is a. Uh, okay. I might. Since I was going to write it down. <laughs> Set on. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck. Forgot to. I, I copied this in the entire thing, but yeah, for now you own the. Characters know him as Lightbringer. I mean, that's. It, I, it's just a name, it's fine. Mm hmm. Oh, and I didn't even put the entire one because technically it's Sir Marward down. Mm -hmm. And sorry for a small tangent, but I don't remember was there any one of you from this group playing with me that that one shot that went through the entire night when we were fighting against a god? No. Maybe. No. Maybe. I think the answer is no. Maybe I played one where you were the GM and the level. 21. No, 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 no. I was, uh, I was a player. I was like playing uh -huh. this character, but he was like a, you know, level eighteen half Asimar, a uh, half so. Mm -hmm. Then we'll talk about Angus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, and yes, yeah, speaking about tampering with the source or maybe perhaps the saving storm. Uh, Zillow, uh, not Zillow, Zixos. Fucking mm -hmm. hell. Uh, because you picked, uh, because sadly, the. You are a mighty warrior, but you do not pack too much strength in your muscles, and sadly, the shadow managed to seep just enough to, well, pull you under uh, once mm -hmm. more. Uh, and, again, you have seen a vision, and you mm -hmm. picked uh, a guardian. Which yep. means, you see the following. At first, there's darkness. You get the, this instinctual feeling that this is not darkness because this middle of the night, but because you are deep, deep underground. Mm. Surprisingly, this time, apart from visual aspect, you also have feel smells. Maybe not touch, but there is this place is damp, mossy, stale. Uh, clearly, this place is not being used too much. But you also feel one more thing. Perhaps because you see this as a not physical being. And even though you are not a mage, your master taught you in different, uh, through different arts. And you have some knowledge about the arcane. Mm -hmm. The amount of ambient power, the magical energy feeling this place, these corridors as you are floating towards the center of humongous chamber that has a very particular being in it. Uh, the air itself is sipped with power. Not 
pure magical energy. Mana, however you want to call it. It's... Almost overwhelming, intoxicating. And you... I don't think that so much energy here is like... Gathered, flowing, almost like a uh, storm. You do not see any device, but as for the Guardian, you do see something else. Standing, guarding something, definitely, but the vision becomes blurry as you are focusing on the Guardian. You see, with some a little bit of creative differences, and especially because this is like a gargantuan uh, creature, uh, you know Maokai from League of Legends? Yes. Yeah, so... Three. <laughs> I think uh, Julius is the uh, one of only one of us who plays the most uh, League of Legends. He's yes. probably playing it right now. No, I'm not, Zach. Sure he one, is. <laughs> one fucking time, Zach. You think I do it every time? Mm. What, you don't? Nah. League is too distracting to play with when you're with, playing with someone else. But what happens if you're just jungle and you don't have to pay attention? Yeah, but I don't like yoking jungling. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it, it's one of those things is you do a hundred good things, but you fuck one sheep. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> That's oh, God. I see. Mm. Oh. Yeah, you are seeing uh gargantuan tree-like creature and it's clearly not a tree tree it's like a sa sapient not sapient but this is definitely like an active being obviously standing guard uh, and i have no way of explaining that like in character because currently it's not in combat so you wouldn't Z Z zixos would not be even like really able to tell but I'm gonna give that information to the player that this being, apart from being gargantuan plant, uh, walking active tree, uh, has class levels. Specifically, in something that makes it very good as a guardian, as it makes it very hard to be moved. Clearly, it's just a monk. Mm, we're gonna get flurry of blood battery. Mm. I mean, you kind of got it because Monk has a very fun archetype. Archetype mm -hmm. or a thing that basically makes you almost impossible to be moved, even by you know being teleported away. Mm -hmm. But I can't remember the name of it from the Monk of the head. Iron Mountain. Oh yeah, that thing. <coughs> I know exactly which one you're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I like Monk. Yeah, and as you basically take the might and power of this creature, clearly protecting, guarding something very important and something that's gathering a shit ton of power uh, or supporting a shit ton of power, uh, you have returned back to your uh, friends right after, you know, finishing combat with the shadows. Mm -hmm. Well, success would relay that there's a giant ass fucking tree somewhere deep underground. Mm. Mm. Hmm. A tree, you say? Well, it, it it seemed a bit mobile for a tree. Well, sort of, not kinda. Hmm. Must have been the mighty willow. They're always known for uh, swaying around. Um, I'm not sure if you ever got punched in the face by a tree, but I don't think that's what a willow does. Mm. You know what? Now that I think about it, uh, if you want, uh, if you like exchanging the information and mm. thinking about it, knowing what you know. You can give me a flat uh, intelligence. <laughs> Fuck! What did be intelligence or wisdom? Basically, connecting the dots and thinking. Intelligence. 
Intelligence or somewhere else? It would be intelligence, I'd say. Both of them make sense, but I feel like intelligence in this case. Uh, mm. Yeah, so you can give me a flat intelligence uh, check. Sure. Hey. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Uh, Master has taught you very yeah. well. Or rather, perhaps the share amount of power gave you this like increased spike of clarity. Uh, and something in your gut feeling tells you that, well, clearly a creature with such might can only protect one thing. And with the amount of power, <coughs> well, uh, your characters can strongly suspect it. Above the board, with that nat 20, I can give clear confirmation that this uh, Maokai XP, uh, plant monk, is indeed uh, guarding the... For now, I'm, I'm gonna be ambivalent if it's device slash uh, place of power. Uh, basically, it's the guardian of the source of the storm. Uh, That's currently oh. cutting you off from the rest of the world. Uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. Is my strength damage gone from that last fight? Yes, we took a rest and it's gone. Uh, oh, it's done. Right. We, de we decided that whenever we take a rest, it goes away. So we should be fine now. Mm-hmm. Basically, I make sure. because otherwise we would just sit there and take like five rests. Mm -hmm. And especially since we're immortal, so at that point we just cut off our own head to save some time and keep going. Mm -hmm. and we're... Fuel weren't we all in well. agreement that <laughs> weren't we all in agreement that the dying deep is uh, only fueled? Uh, yes, but we're on a, but when we're, when we're on a time scale, like. And we need to be better now. That is mm -hmm. a great way to be better now. Yep, yep. Given we come back in like minutes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as opposed to sitting around for seven days to get rid of some strength damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Seven days. <laughs> yep, yep. Seven days, seven nights. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> All right. Uh, so with that. Uh, yeah, you take a little bit of rest to basically shake off the strength damage that shadows incurred upon you, and then you continue your journey, managing to basically cl clear the uh, mountainside and stepping into <laughs> hilly, uh, green, lush uh, areas. Which give me just one moment, and as I imagine. Uh, Ch Cheruk is uh, again, or not again, but continuously being your pathfinder or being the yes the, the guide. But... Mm -hmm. Alright, yep. <clears throat> then you can give me a survival check once more. Survival and a click. <clears throat> okay, before 60. I look at. Look at uh, so I don't know much... how much uh, how much help my machete uh, will. Uh, yeah, be at this point, here. it's not a jungle. Uh, you are definitely stepping into the area that doesn't count as a oriental, not oriental, but like a tropical forest or a jungle. It's definitely uh, more like e European. I don't know how to like probably call like the usual normal types of forest. Mm-hmm. Rolling Cut hills. Forest. <laughs> Cut a forest, man. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> That's not really mature. Um... I mean, I just didn't hear exactly what Zach said, so... I'm not here. I was being stupid. I was saying... <laughs> you, you were asking what a normal forest is called. I was telling you it's called a forest. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay. Uh, so, because you're also force marching, so parts of your journey are going through the night, which usually is like a slightly more dangerous uh, time. Uh, so, I'm gonna say that. Uh... Well, yeah, the DC would be. I mean, the basic one is 17, and with the forest, then it would be bumped to 19. Uh, are there any two people willing to provide aid? Hmm. Actually, I'm just gonna look if... 
Schrodinger's Coron has survival as his. Oof. <laughs> okay, so let's see if Schrodinger's Coron. Uh, no, he doesn't have survival. You can still roll it. 50, I mean, 50. I, I know, I know it, sir, because it's background adventure. All forgot that it's like kind of different. Oh no, he actually has ranks in survival. Okay, and with those uh, <coughs> successful aids, you get to twenty, which is enough to <coughs> pass it. Which means that you essentially will be having an option to. Uh, avoid potential uh, danger coming your way and let me see abort abort <laughs> we're supposed to fight everything you know <laughs> uh, actually 94 is uh, was already used sadly time to reroll um, okay that would be interesting and <coughs> okay so <clears throat> so normally i would give you like a option between those two but <laughs> Let's just do both at the same time. What's the worst thing that could happen? <coughs> okay, so uh, the lower option uh, is that you will be able, or rather, you will see, and thanks to your successful survival check, be able to like pass uh, a wandering hunting band of giants with direwolves. Uh, mm -hmm. While the higher option does not involve uh, a combat encounter, uh, it's essentially finding uh, parts and uh, wreck of one of the skyships. Skyship. Let's go meet the skyship. Yep. <laughs> All right. Maybe maybe we'll find some survivors. Oh, maybe we'll find some good loot. Or maybe we'll get a skyship. Mm. I could be... I could be the sky captain of the sky. I'm it sorry, that position is already yeah. taken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how heavy this thing is, but we're probably strong enough. Let's just fucking drag it back to camp. Uh -huh. I can not confer nor deny. <laughs> Yes, Helen, can you keep up that streak, honestly? Um, considering I'm immortal, <laughs> I'm guessing for long periods of time, because I think our stamina... No, no, I meant, like, you you have, like, a really high streak, but, like, how many rounds of rage do you have? Like, how long's your infusion uh, for? Mutagen that is, kind of I think, if I'm on top of my head... Anyway. I, I know how long it is, it's not long enough, let's go. Let's go. Damn. Uh... <coughs> Alright. Okay. So, you can stumble upon something at first, small uh, parts, but then clearly uh, in one of the slightly larger patches of forest, you see the crash site. Uh, basically torn apart, heavily damaged, uh, basically split into, let's say, roughly two large pieces. Uh, of a skyship, kind of. At this point, maybe the f the foliage hasn't begun to uh, cover it. <coughs> uh, as you are, like, approach it, well, for once you do not see any. Mm, any enemy combatants around. There might be some smaller creatures that. Might be like overtly aggressive, but <coughs> considering your strength, it's not worth making any. <coughs> uh, sorry, my throat is starting to kill me. <coughs> not over, not worth making an encounter. 
And apart from that, uh, the wreck, if anyone survived it, uh, clearly sees no activity. There's nobody around. It's possible to think that if anyone survived it or was gifted and even if it died then woke up after crash landing. <coughs> Considering the crash itself started, well happened when you have landed here, which was, well, now more than a month ago. Because we are now on like day 34 or 35 after the landing. <coughs> clearly, uh, they didn't think, if anyone survived, clearly they didn't think that this position was defensible. And they probably uh, move somewhere. However, if you wish to investigate furthermore, even deeply, you can give me give me rolls. Probably survival or survival production. to like find if there are any like tracks remaining or figuring out what happened here. Uh, if tracks remaining, and then perhaps like uh, perception. To like basically get a gist of like what went down here or maybe finding <coughs> possible clues yes. about the fate of this. So can we roll both or just one? Uh, you can roll both. Alright. First survival, then perception. <coughs> Aha! Ho ho! Nice. <coughs> All right, so just <coughs> give me a moment. I need to double check. Something. What's the? All right. <coughs> okay. So. Uh. Starting with perception, as you are checking the surrounding uh, area, trying to find out if there is any uh, loot being left, or basically giving like a general overview of the ship. <coughs> uh, so, good news is that the ship is not completely annihilated. Uh, sure, it's very badly destroyed. Uh, but the it is possible to repair it through well at, uh, some time. <coughs> so if you really want to go for the idea of basically carrying that two fucking huge lumps of uh, wood and metal and what whatever it, it is possible. Uh, sadly, in terms of uh, loot. Uh, it is the situation is that clearly someone was there was some there were some survivors because you find <coughs> uh, signs that there was a camp here and clearly whatever was left in terms of supplies and important items was uh, well taken uh, alongside <coughs> with them. Uh, so sadly there's no uh, loot at this place. The ship, it's not, it's very badly damaged, it's not completely annihilated, so it is possible to drag it back. <clears throat> if you really want to go for it. And then combining that with your survival checks as you start checking for various tracks. <clears throat> so while good news is that there is no signs of struggle or no marks indicating there was a combat at the camp, that they were ambushed. Uh, they clearly, perhaps, judging from the tracks, how old they are, probably around two weeks before you arrived here. <coughs> uh, 
uh, they have decided that they need to go, they need to move out. Uh, sorry, probably even three weeks. Uh, they need mm. to move out and probably, even if slightly blindly, find a way to rejoin other allied forces. <clears throat> and as you, as Cheryuk and Zixos, you approach, the tracks lead towards a river of some sorts. And that's where you find signs of uh, battle, of combat. The area around looks pretty rough, so the, co uh, the fighting was intensive. And there are scorch marks, uh, halfway to hold uh, patches of grass, so clearly <coughs> magic was uh, also used. Uh, but clearly there was some sign of stra struggle, and then... Uh, some tracks now different they they look different than the ones you were following uh, they go alongside the river but only a few of them while most disappears into the river so uh the tribe were uh uh investigated what were they again rotten claw Rotten Claw, and they were Sahagin? Uh, no, I don't think you know that information in character, I'm not sure. Uh, Sahagin, they were... <coughs> Fuck, now I don't recall what I said exactly. I'm pretty sure I said Dread Trident were Sahagin. Uh, while Rotten Claw is... Probably, and uh, sea monsters like mon crabman, chul, basically the creatures that you have fought at the very beginning of the campaign. Yeah. Uh, with the undead variants. <clears throat> sure, perhaps there are some Sahuagin or not. As a point of notice, the discovery uh, where you find the river where the signs of combat happen. Uh, if you the trucks at the very least those very few that go for a while before they also disappear into the river they appear to be leading towards the you know question mark area mm. the one we're heading for right now yes yeah yeah because that your idea was to go to the question mark check it out what it is and then continue mm. to rotten claw mm -hmm. tribe mm. Alright, <coughs> in that case, we hmm? Go ahead. Just a question. How far are we away from the monastery right now? Mm, uh, uh, hold on. Day and a half, maybe? In terms, of, in terms of your movement speed, because again, you are able to move very quickly. Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah. For your hmm. movement speed, you are like day and a half away from monastery. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it would be reasonable to get the crafter here to fix the ship. Mm. But no, I think that's a bit hey, too far. Hey, drop everything you're doing and help us fix our uh, uh, flying ship. Yeah, basically. It's, it's kind of important having a flying ship when we're all stuck on the ground. Mm. Is it even repairable, though? Like, that's the question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, considering Kulfgar is one of the best craftsmen out there, definitely in your group. It is possible, it won't be quick. Even, mm -hmm. say, like, even like, with all the magic mambo-jumbo he has. What, what percentage of the ship is still intact? Uh -huh. uh, oh my god, if I have to go with percentage... I'd say... Like, 50%? Sure. It costs quite a bit of money, but I do have a plan how we could get it back up to the monastery, which would save save us time. Mm. Either way. And while it is heavy, I'm gonna say that only like Zillow in your party, I believe, has enough strength to pull it off. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's 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 a plan to make it fly. It's just kind of expensive, so <coughs> we'll come back to it later. Mm-hmm. Besides, why are you 
I mean, kind of trolling, but why are you thinking that you would be the party that gets ownership of the skyship? Well, obviously, finders keepers. Um... Uh, Hold up, you just... We, we, we would see that's, about that. That's, that's like arriving first to work and uh, claiming ownership of uh, the entire company. And that's more like finding a sunken ship and then being like, this is mine. Um... <coughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Problem is, there were people uh, that found it, found it first. Uh, you mean the people who crashed it? Mm. And whatever monsters uh, uh, that uh, lurks around these parts, yes. Well, yeah, but they're monsters. I don't think they get get the ship. Mm. Wow, that's racist. <laughs> nah, man, they're gonna try and kill us the moment we see them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Either way, I think it's time to head out. All right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you continue uh, towards the question mark, and I'm gonna say you will arrive there. Actually, a uh, question to you: uh, Do you try to time it in a way that you arrive there during the day, or are you fine if it's the night? I think we'll just make it there as soon as we can. I don't think we have any plans right now. Alright, so, yeah. so yeah, going as soon as you can, then it will work mm -hmm. it in a way that you will get there uh, during the uh, night. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Alright, so before I put you on the uh, on a map, uh, first question is, because while you were not aware what's there exactly, uh, the place was marked for whatever reason, so as you are getting closer, uh, are you attempting any stealth whatsoever? Or are you doing any like someone going f forward as I mean, a scout or... I mean, uh, as we're uh, getting closer to it, I... Uh to uh, take up the uh, uh, possibility that we should be at least a bit stealthy. To what, the was it, what was it we saw her earlier? Uh, like, what is what? what is this question? What do we think this question mark is? Mm. I mean, I don't know. As you're approaching the area, you do not Wait. see any like visible large structures, so clearly it's not a city. Uh, it's just like a forest, uh, a lot of uh, foliage being around. And Julius, going with a river. The, the question mark was the shadows last session. Where no, the, that, uh, no, 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 oh, that was underway. Yeah, that was a random encounter. That was. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what oh. I'm asking. Uh, I could have that was the question marks. Never mind then, okay. So did I think, but then we took us back to the map and saw we were only halfway to it. Uh, yeah. We were still uh, going down the mountain. Yeah, the winter, the hunter's cabin was as you're going down the mountain. And yeah, the ship was close towards the question mark, and then as you're okay. approaching the question mark. Yeah, it's like, there's no visible infrastructure of any kind. There is a uh, average sized river going through a, a dense, thick uh, foliage. But I'm gonna say that, yes, yeah, so you're approaching, because obviously, clearly, not everything, not everything is as it seems. Uh, your gut feeling, uh, well, Tells you, you you get the feeling of like you know standing hair on your skin if you have any hair or whatever the phrase is in English. Mm -hmm. I I get it. Uh huh. And I say we send Cherik in to scout. Uh huh. Yes. Yep. Given that, that that's what he's good at, and that's not what I'm good at. Uh huh. Yeah, going to be Cherik and Zixis at most. They look at my uh -huh. negative three stealth. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Checking out my 23 stealth. Mm -hmm. just, for, just for the hell of it. 
There you go. Mm -hmm. Just seeing what I would have gotten. Yeah, success. Being a goblin is good at stealth, but he's not exactly stealthy. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Not entirely horrible. Uh -huh. Alright, let me try. Alright. Uh -huh. Oh, rolled a two. Sure, sure. <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay, so is Cherry going as a scout alone or is Zixos going with him? Zixos will show up as well. Two and two. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so before I put you on the map, let me uh, basically see if the creatures present there uh, have a any chance of detecting you. I don't believe so, but we'll see. Nope. This one, I want to say it's occupied. Oof. I'm just imagining Ashrak throwing cards at the civil. <laughs> there it comes. <clears throat> okay, I think I have a vision set up uh, properly. So, uh, clearly the beings there do not expect any sort of uh, company, so they are particularly not being sneaky themselves. So, as you are going through the forest, sticking to cover, uh, you begin to hear some sort of uh, talk. And as you are getting uh, closer, you can now give me a perception check, both of you. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy how we switched our roles. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, mm. so, uh, Asirak approaching, and now I believe I can pull you on the, on the map. Yeah, and for now only Zixos and Cheruk are visible as... Uh, tokens <clears throat> you see a troop of uh, Sahuagin uh, being present on the river seeing like uh, you know securing the perimeter and being like uh, bodyguards to another Sahuagin that looks much more bloodied and uh, season seasoned uh, experience standing at the front <clears throat> And at first, you hear some. Basically, the entire uh, ordeal hears like a, some sort of like a spat or uh, a, a Kerbic discussion. Uh, the Sohagin is speaking something. Does any one of you speaks Aquan? Uh, let me check. Do, do, do common Tengu Elven Draconic Orc Goblin Terran Dwarven Oren. Giant Cyclops Celestial. Damn, I really should put uh, put another point so I can pick up two other two other languages. Either way, and the success does not. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, yeah, this wagon speaks something. It is language, almost something like a uh, demanding, and then a different voice uh, coming from the shore that you do not see. It's middle of the. Uh, night and your night vision only has so much range and I think I said night vision properly on your tokens so yeah what you see uh, is what you see yeah six feet yeah mm -hmm. yeah a voice a common also speaking uh, harshly and very like smugly arrogantly speaking Come on, fish. I'm not gonna lower myself to speak in your barbaric tongue. The deal was simple. 
You will not have to bear the mark as long as you understand what is your place. There is a great work here. Many have already died for the glorious purpose. And you, as long as you do your thing, will be spared. Then <clears throat> the other one sounding <coughs> more roughly. And having this as an aquatic creature, I imagine they have some sort of weird uh, infection, inflection uh, to their way of speaking. Uh, maybe almost uh, sounding uh, bubbly. Oh, yeah. We are hunters. We agreed, but we are not golden fishes, or as you surface dwellers have dogs on a leash. We are proud warriors, and we will be respected as such. Hmm. Respect is earned, not given. Clearly, I do not understand why my a glorious master is bothering with you, but I guess you are doing your job. Now, tell me, I do not want to waste more time with you. Have you found what was asked of you? This, but your Helions have been getting too big for their shoes. Little green bastards that they are. Yes, rivers lead everywhere, even deep underground, wherever water goes, we know how to reach it. It's hot, it burns, but we found a way. We know the underwater paths throughout this land. Well, very well. They're gonna be... Do not feel like this meeting will be lasting for super long. So the question to the party is... Uh, Time to... Are you gonna be intervening or... Yep, time to grab Astrox and Zillow. So we uh, heard a voice uh, coming from the beach but didn't see anybody. I mean, or was it, or it, is it on the other side of the I lake? Mean, you see what you see, and the other voice, the smack arrogant one, was, you guess, coming from the other right. shore. Right, so their attention is set uh, to that side. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Can I sneak closer, like, uh, fifth, uh, double move over here, stealthily? Alright. Uh, you do not get a new roll. Because I still remember, you're 25. But yeah, uh, you can absolutely move your token. You do not do another stealth check. All right. And I'm guessing as in the meantime, as Cherik is going, switching positions, Ixos is uh, rapidly getting back to Colin uh, for the rest of the party. <laughs> Yep, calling in the big guys. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay. How to? Okay. So uh, I'm gonna put the tokens. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, uh, Zixo, Zillol, and Azrak, because the moment you appear will be starting initiative, and I'm going to explain in a moment how that begins. You can essentially put your token at at the very right edge of the map, and this is where we go you're going to start initiative counter. Right, so I figure... Because they are not going to be surprised. I'm surprisingly. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you, you 
can definitely give me an All right. initiative. Uh, hold on, I think something broke. <laughs> Fuck. Now, my question is this. Would it...